Turkeys are highly intelligent, loving animals admired by the great US statesman and inventor Benjamin Franklin, who referred to the turkey as a bird of courage. During the debate over choosing a national symbol for the new nation, Mr. Franklin advocated that the turkey, rather than the bald eagle, best represented the United States. In nature, turkeys live up to 12 years, have strong feet and legs, can run up to 40 kilometers an hour, and fly up to 88 kilometers an hour for short distances. These amazing birds are also highly social and caring animals that live together in flocks. The images in the following program are highly sensitive and may be as disturbing to viewers as they were to us. However, we have to show the truth about animal cruelty. On today's Supreme Master Television Stop Animal Cruelty series, we'll reveal the horrors of the turkey industry. In the United States, Thanksgiving is a national holiday, a day to celebrate with family and friends and give thanks to God. But for turkeys, it is a time of great suffering and death. The act of having turkey for Thanksgiving dinner or for any other occasion can in no way be considered celebratory. Instead, it is deplorable, inhumane and senseless exploitation of our innocent fellow beings. The following is an excerpt from the documentary Stuffed, produced by the non-profit British animal welfare group Vegetarians International Voice for Animals or Viva. The undercover footage recorded at several UK turkey farms is both shocking and appalling. Welcome to the home of the biggest turkey producer in the world. You know when you've arrived in this part of Norfolk by the stench of turkey excreta that fills the air from shed after shed after shed. How many birds are in each one is anybody's guess. It could be 15,000 or 25,000, but either way, this is the only world these animals will ever know. The flooring is accumulated excreta and won't be changed during their lifetime, which might be as short as 12 weeks or as long as 26, depending on the size of the bird. Leg problems are commonplace and some birds are unable to reach food and water and so starve to death. The fetid, cloying, dusty atmosphere is overpowering, but the birds have no escape. Look inside almost any modern turkey shed and you'll see the same problems over and over again. Death rates can be as high as 15% and the losses are simply built into the economics of the industry. From an animal welfare perspective, intensive farming is a disaster, despite all the industry's claims of high standards. There is no escape from conditions like these. The scalding ammonia released in these saturated conditions can cause terrible burns to feet, legs and breasts. No, there's no escape, just the slaughterhouse. Overcrowding is common, but for these juveniles it is extreme. Producers amputate part of the upper section of beak. It is painful, done without anaesthetic, and may result in lifelong pain. Another farm, but a similar story. Overcrowded, highly stressed juveniles 
who have no outlet, just the tip of the upper beak is supposed to be removed. Sadly, for many of the birds in this shed, it is barbaric, uncaring, total amputation. Premium priced bronze turkeys. Maybe the stocking density is less, but this is a world away from any children's farmyard picture book. Even though this place is supposedly environmentally enriched, with a straw bale, the results are not that different. These are also premium priced bronze turkeys. Because they have access to a paddock, they're labelled free range, but they spend most of their life in here. We saw serious problems everywhere we looked. The night vision on this camera kills the colour, but this bird's bones are exposed through the gaping holes in its flesh. You can actually see the pus dripping from this abscessed hole. Our investigators found dead and injured birds everywhere. They are supposed to be inspected individually every day. And so the story goes on. Whatever it says on the wrapper about being farm fresh or welfare friendly, what's shown here is the way most turkeys are reared. Producers are also allowed to amputate the bird's snood, that piece of flesh that dangles from their heads. Their wild ancestors can live for up to 10 years and can fly at 50 miles an hour. Many modern turkeys can barely walk. In these crowded conditions, diseases are rife, and so is the use of antibiotics, pesticides, other drugs, and a barrage of chemicals. They are central to turkey and chicken production. In this, the last farm visited, there is some fresh air and dry straw, and the stocking density is less. But many of the problems are the same. Turkey producers have taken a beautiful wild bird and turned it into a diseased and dejected travesty of itself. They sell its meat by claiming they care about its welfare. We leave you to be the judge. We'll return after these brief messages with more on the utterly inhumane practices of the turkey industry. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. For over a month, I worked undercover as a live hanger in Rayford, North Carolina. The conditions I witnessed will forever haunt me. The images in the following program are highly sensitive and may be as disturbing to viewers as they were to us. However, we have to show the truth about animal cruelty. So you've got these huge overgrown animals that have been selectively bred to be much too big for, the, for their age. Um, they can barely walk because of their overgrown size and they just about shift away from you as you try to walk through them. Um, and just seeing animals who are just dead, lying on the floor, who've just been left there, um, even worse in some ways, injured animals who are just left untreated, and just the general state that they're in.
You're watching the Stop Animal Cruelty series on Supreme Master Television, featuring the brutal, intensive farming of innocent turkeys. The following excerpts from the documentary, Undercover Poultry Slaughter Investigation, are extremely disturbing. The film was recorded at a slaughterhouse in the USA and produced by the non-profit US animal advocacy group Mercy for Animals. For over a month, I worked undercover as a live hanger at her turkey slaughterhouse, killing over 25,000 turkeys each and every day. The conditions I witnessed will forever haunt me. I saw many birds in horrible conditions when they arrived at the slaughterhouse. Many had broken wings and legs, bloody open wounds, or large tumors. Management instructed workers to hang sick, injured, dying birds in the line as long as the birds were still alive. Sometimes their wings were snapped in half. I removed many dead turkeys from trucks who did not survive the journey to the slaughterhouse. These birds were typically thrown into a large dead on arrival bin. machine, which is a rotating blade, slits their throat. they go down a line to bleed out. If you are at all moved by what you have seen, Please don't eat turkeys or chickens. The world will be a kinder and more compassionate place for all of us. Help end this cruelty by adopting a vegetarian diet. The final documentary, North Carolina Turkey Hatchery Investigation, from which we will now show excerpts, was produced by the non-profit US Animal Rights Group, Compassion Over Killing. The film reveals more of the sickening atrocities committed each day by the turkey industry. During June and July 2006, a Compassion Over Killing investigator worked at a North Carolina turkey hatchery. What you are about to see reveals the treatment of newly hatched turkeys at the facility. From the moment they hatch, chicks endure rough handling and are treated like inanimate objects. Chicks may get trapped between the trays of the sorting machine, often resulting in severe injury and death. Many are left for hours to suffer and die from their injuries.
missorted birds fall into the disposal bin along with discarded eggshells and are killed. Others get caught on the machine. Sick and injured chicks are tossed into containers and left to suffer for hours, sometimes overnight. They are later dumped with healthy surplus chicks into the disposal bin to be killed. Some newly hatched chicks are suffocated in plastic bags and sent for testing. They die slowly as they struggle to breathe. Chicks are forced to endure mutilation without painkillers. Some have their snoods ripped from their heads. The ends of their rear toes are cut off with scissors. Parts of birds' toes and beaks are generally removed. This facility uses microwave and infrared to destroy the tissue, causing it to later fall off. Birds are jerked upside down as the tips of their toes are microwaved. Chicks are hung by their heads as the tips of their beaks are exposed to high intensity light. Hundreds of thousands of chicks are hatched at this facility each week. Two hundred fifty two million turkeys are slaughtered for food each year in the U.S. More than sixty five million are killed during the winter holiday season alone. This holiday season, give turkeys something to be thankful for. Choose vegetarian foods instead. TryVeg.com. Compassion over killing. We're deeply grateful to the investigators of Vegetarians International Voice for Animals, Mercy for Animals, and Compassion over Killing for their incredible courage and determination to reveal the murderous practices of the turkey industry. For more information on ending the cruel turkey industry, please visit Viva at www.viva.org.uk. Mercy for Animals at www.mercyforanimals.org. Compassion over killing at www.cok.net. May the cruel, insufferable treatment of these beautiful beings end soon as humanity's level of consciousness rises through adoption of the loving and healthy organic vegan diet. Admirable viewers, thank you for joining us for today's program. Enlightening Entertainment is up next after Noteworthy News. May your life be filled with heavenly love, light and blessings. 
For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash stop dash animal dash cruelty.